there, this is Morgan with Morgan Burke's Photography and Product Shop. And today I'm gonna to show you how to fix neon colored grass. Um, so this is the photo I'm gonna be using today. I shot with the light right behind my subjects um, and the light bounced off the grass and just made it overblown, oversaturated and very neon. So I'm gonna show you how I would counteract that. So what I'm gonna do is duplicate my background layer, just drag it right down over that little sheet of paper icon at the bottom and it doubles it up. Um, from there, I'm gonna to go to Filter, Camera Raw Filter, and now I'm using Photoshop CC. If you are using a version of Photoshop that does not have the Camera Raw Filter under this section, you can open your photo, even if it's a JPEG, as a Camera Raw file by going to File, Open As, and then changing the file type at the bottom to Camera Raw. Um, so, and then it will open up in this window right here, which is the ACR window. Okay, so when this opens up, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose the fourth tab over, it's called HSL Grayscale. I'm gonna click that one and I'm gonna start under the hue panel. Uh, what I wanna do here is adjust the greens and the yellows, mostly for the grass. Um, if I need to counteract the skin, if I notice anything funny happening there, I can adjust the red or orange sliders to fix that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the yellow slider, maybe you can go, it doesn't matter what order you do this in. So I'm gonna take the yellow slider and I'm gonna drag it over towards the greens just a little bit. And then the greens, I'm gonna drag over towards the aqua side of the panel. So when you go to the left, you can drag it towards the yellows, or if you drag it to the right, you can um, add more aqua color to the greens. So I'm just gonna go um, maybe about plus 32 here. Um, again, I'm just eyeballing this really quickly. You can adjust these tabs uh, later if you don't like what you chose. Um, okay, so once I've done the hue, basically I just wanted to take some of that yellow color away and add a little more um, of the aqua tones to the greens. And you can go a little bit further with this if you want to. Um, okay, so the next step I'm gonna do after I am done in the hue tab is hit saturation. And so here is where I wanna lower that saturation because the grass is, is you know overly saturated here. It's way too bright. So I'm gonna grab the green slider. I'm gonna drag it to the left, which desaturates the grass. Okay, and you can go again as far with this as you want to. And then if you want, you can also do the yellow slider, depending on the, the color of your grass. If it's very yellow, very neon, um, you can adjust the yellows tab as well. Just be careful because a lot of times skin tones or blonde hair can show up under yellows. So when you drag it, um, it can adjust their skin and their hair. So just keep an eye out for that. Um, and then you can go again wherever you think this looks good. I'm gonna drop it about right there, which is negative 34. And I'll show you the before and after here. So, so far that's what we've done. Now the last thing um, that you can do to adjust the color is to come, or, I mean, sorry, to adjust the grass is to come to the luminance tab. And here you can grab the green slider and you can either darken the grass by lowering the luminance um, or you can brighten the grass. And so from here, it really depends on your editing style. Um, you could do the same thing with the yellows here if you wanted. Um, but basically, if you want to keep that texture in the grass, um, you can darken it up a little bit. And if you like that sort of pastel, soft editing, um, you can increase the luminance of the greens to sort of give them that pastel effect. Okay, so now that we've adjusted the grass, I'm probably going to lower this just a little bit so it kind of stays similar to the uh, original brightness of the grass. So I'm just going to turn that on and off for you. And again, if you're not happy with the result, you can go back into any of these tabs and just tweak and adjust as you need to. Um, another thing I can do is just look at their skin here and just make sure that, um, that I've got it edited how I want it. So if I notice their skin is looking a little too green or something like that, I can come in here to the orange slider and just drag it a little bit more towards the reds instead of the yellows. So if I drag it over towards the yellow, some of that green tone comes out. And if I drag it towards the red side, it just warms it up a little. Just be careful not to go too far or it will look a little funny. Um, and then the same thing with the red slider. You could adjust this and just see what you think. Uh, maybe drag it a little more towards the oranges and then you can turn that on and off as well and just kind of keep an eye out for the skin here um, as you turn that on and off. So I think that looks pretty good. If you lower the saturation of your grass and you're working on an image that's backlit like this, um, and you're concerned that the, the color of the flare or the yellow warmth that was coming from that sun is no longer in your image, you can go one more tab over up here to the split toning tab. And under the highlight section, I'm just gonna drag my hue towards an orange tone. So here it's at 32. And then I'm just gonna increase the saturation a little bit. Um, so I put it at plus eight. And so that just adds a little bit more warmth to that sky or that flare. 
Now, if you do this, it could affect your grass. So just, you might wanna flip back between these two tabs and just adjust as you need to. Um, so that's pretty much it for there. I'm gonna hit okay and open this into Photoshop and I will show you the before and the after. See, so you can see here, even in their skin, it's just a lot warmer now. Um, here in his shirt, we got out some of those green tones. So if you see before, um, it just looks a lot cleaner and neater. And again, we got rid of that neon grass. And so from there, you can edit it as you normally would. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, you can shoot me an email at morgan at morganburks.com or you can find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash morganburksphotography. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.